I can't trust nobody but myself. Do you trust me? Hi guys, today's topic is how to build trust in a relationship. As we all know, trust is the foundation of any relationship, whether it's personal, friendship or professional. Without trust, it is difficult to build a meaningful connection with another person. In today's video, I will share with you seven practical tips that you can use every day to build trust with another person in your life. Let's start. You got my attention. I'm all ears. My name is Elena Semenek. I'm a psychologist and this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome. On this channel, I teach people about relationships, self-esteem, trust, money, limiting beliefs, and all other topics that will make you feel happier and be more successful in life. So subscribe to my channel so you won't miss another important video. And now let's talk about trust. Yeah, but I don't trust nobody. One of the most important ways to build trust with another person is to be honest and transparent. This means being truthful about your thoughts, your intentions, your desires, your actions, and your expectations. When you are open and honest with someone, it shows that you are trustworthy and reliable. Being authentic means being yourself, being who you truly are. When you are pretending to be someone else, when you are trying to hide your feelings or hide your actions or hide your thoughts, People can sense it, and sooner or later, it will destroy your trust quickly. Do you trust me or don't you? Well, tip number two is apologize when you are wrong. Unfortunately, you cannot build meaningful relationship if you cannot apologize. We all make mistakes, so let's take responsibility for our actions and show another person that we do value them and we do value their feelings and their trust. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I just wanted to stand up here in front of all of you and tell my son that I am very sorry. Remember, apology is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of strength and maturity. It can help you rebuild trust even if it was broken before. I know I made a mistake and I'm sorry. Tip number three, show that you can care by listening actively. I am listening to you. When you actively listen to someone, you show that you respect another person and value their thoughts and opinions. It also helps you understand their perspective and gain insights about their needs and their feelings. When you show another person that you care about them, it helps to create a sense of safety and security in your relationship. It tells the other person that they can rely on your support if they need it. I probably wasn't listening. Well, I'm listening now. Before talking about tip number four, let me introduce a sponsor of today's video, Aura. Aura is a digital safety app that you install on your phone and it will monitor and notify you about any suspicious online activities seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It will let you know about any unusual actions regarding your bank account, social security number, or your credit cards. It will even tell you if someone posted inappropriate comments towards your kid. Aura's app has also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool that you'll ever need all in one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. To learn more, visit aura.com happiness for your 14 days trial. The link is below the video. Okay, we've been talking about seven strategies for creating trust in a relationship. And we are down to tip number four. Let's continue listening and bear in mind that the next 100 pages can get a little bit dry. If you want to build trust with someone, you need to keep your promises. Whether it is a small commitment like uh, meeting up for a coffee or a larger promise like delivering a project on time, keeping your word is essential. If you can't keep your promise, be honest. Remember the tip number one, honesty and transparency. So if you can't keep your promise, 
Be honest about why and talk to another person about what you can do to make it right. Oh, <laughs> well, I will keep my promise. Tip number five is be reliable. Being reliable means showing up when you say you will and following through on your commitments. I never lie, I always keep my promise. It means being consistent and dependable and doing what you say you will do. When you are reliable, others can count on you and that will definitely help you to build trust in your relationship. Can I count on you when the time comes? Yes. Can I count on you? Tip number six is show empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share somebody else's feelings. When you show empathy, you demonstrate that you care about another person and you're willing to be with them when they need your help or when they need your support. I am here for you. And now tip number seven is be respectful. Well, I think, you know, respect is the key to the beginning of rebuilding a friendship. Respect is an essential part of any healthy relationship. When you show respect for someone, whether it's a small child or your boss, you acknowledge their worth and value as a person. Respect is the most important thing in life. It also means treating them with kindness, consideration and dignity. In conclusion, building trust with another person takes some time and a little bit of effort, but it is worthy and it is possible. By being honest, by being authentic, by being reliable, by listening actively, by showing you empathy and being respectful, you can create a strong, meaningful relationship with another person. Remember, trust is the key to meaningful connection with others. That's well said. Well said, Alison. If you like my videos, if you like my approach, then I will be happy to connect with you. Consider my private sessions or join my happiness club online. And if you are new to my channel, I have a gift for you. I'd like to send you five free self-development webinars five guided meditations, and five healing exercises. All free, all the links are below the video. Start watching my videos one after another. I have more than 500 of them on my channel. You can have the life that you can be proud of, and it will happen sooner than you expect. So subscribe, click like, and go and check out my other videos. I will see you soon in my next important video. Bye.